Hey guys, Roger Wakefield here. Today it's 100 degrees in Texas, so we decided what a great time to get up in the attic to work on the tankless water heater. So what we've got, we've got a Renai R85 that has a Sonar 12 error code. We've checked the gas, we've checked the ground, everything's fine. So we know that we're having problems with, with our air. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and clean out the inside of it. We've got the power turned off, so what we're going to try to do, we're going to try and get in here and get our blower motor out. That way, we can get the insides of it cleaned out. Okay, we removed the two screws to loosen the blower motor housing up top. And there's a clamp over here on the side. What we'll do is loosen it to take off the rubber boot. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this to get it on the, out of the way. I'm gonna remember, white to the left, black to the right. That kind of opens it up. I'm get this out. And slide it out or rather everything in there. Now what we're gonna do is open it up so we can see how bad the inside of it is. Now when you look inside here, you're gonna see parts of bugs, you're gonna see dust, you're gonna see lint, you're gonna see all kinds of things inside here. This blower motor, as you can see, is full of all kinds of things. That throws it off, and that also helps blow any of these parts up into the burner assembly. As you can see, we've got the squirrel cage where it's good and clean now. It's spinning real smooth. It's not offset, it's not bouncing, it's not doing anything like that. So now, we're gonna start putting it back together. All right, guys, we're going to open up the burner assembly to try to get inside of it to see what all we can clean up on the inside of it in there. As you can see inside, we got parts of bugs in here too. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean this up and then start putting this thing back together. You know, it's for his seal. Always make sure you get the right screws back in the right spot. The silver screws came out of the housing, so we want to make sure that we get those in up there and the brass screws in where they go. You've got two wires, one that connects on each side. Make sure you get those back in under your screws also. Remember this clip, there's a spot slot for it right up inside that that slides into. You're gonna slide that into the position, get it up, set your two screws here, and then we start putting it back together. There's the clamp that holds the rubber boot on. Make sure you turn it around, get it in the front where you can get your fingers on both sides that when you get that boot in position, you clamp this on, it doesn't ever come off. So guys, as you can see, we're wrapping up from the car. Got a little hot in there. Matter of fact, it got real hot in there. Cleaning out that Renai, the R85, that did not clear the error code 12. As you can see on the exhaust fitting, there was a crack on the PVC. We've already talked to Renai, so now we're trying to figure out if just changing that piece will make that work. We've also got the serial number and model number off that unit, and we can find out exactly how old it is. It may be time to replace that unit. 
I hope you're liking these videos. If you are, please leave us comments below. Let us know if you've had problems like this or if you've worked on yours. If you really like these videos, hit the subscribe button and tell your friends about it. My name is Roger Wakefield with Texas Green Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.